Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you all how you can always win 8-Ball Pool on Game Pigeon, the iMessage games. So the way that you win 8-Ball Pool is basically to score the most amount of shots in a row. And all shots in this game are based on angles. As you can see, if I turn my stick around and I try to aim for any ball, you can see that it makes a new sort of angle that can change the direction of where the ball is going to go. And there is a simple way to ensure that your angles are always going to cause the ball to go into the hole. Let's say I want to hit this striped ball at the bottom left corner right over here. Now before I hit this shot, what I can do is I can take a screenshot, click on the screenshot, and then there is a way that I can see if I've positioned my stick correctly. At the bottom right corner, you can see that there is a ruler as one of the tools. If you go ahead and click that, you can see that a ruler now pops up on your screen. You can move this ruler by using two of your fingers. And what you can do is you can zoom into your screenshot to where the shot is going to be. And you can angle the ruler to see whether or not it is going to go in. So simply take your ruler, put it against the white line and see if the edge of the ruler is going to go inside the hole or if it's going to hit the edge of the pool table. And you can see that the edge of the ruler is hitting the edge of the pool board. This means that my shot will not cause the ball to go in and instead it will hit the edge of the pool board. So this simply just tells me that all I need to do is readjust my position of the stick. So what you can do is simply delete the screenshot and then readjust your stick to make it seem like the ball is going to go in. Then to check again, take another screenshot, tap on it, click on the ruler, zoom in, and then see whether the alignment is accurate. Now, as you can see, I have aligned my ruler against the direction of where the ball is going to go, and I can see that the edge of the ruler is going inside the hole. This means that I'm going to score the shot and that the positioning of my stick is good. Now you can simply delete the screenshot, use the power, and it will go in. And there, as you can see, my shot went into the hole. So you can continue to do this. If I want to take this shot, I can simply take another screenshot. I can zoom into the part where I'm about to hit the ball. I click on the ruler and then I can angle the ruler. And to me, this seems like the ball is going to go into the hole. So it seems like a safe shot to take. And then you can simply take your shot. Now, another trick that I want to mention is that when you are breaking, on the right side, you always want to try to aim for the fourth ball from the bottom or the second ball from the top. So that is ball number five for me, as you can see right over here. And you want to aim so that it is almost going to hit the ball underneath. So you want to hit that specific ball. But if you slightly adjust the positioning, then it would hit the ball underneath. But it still has to hit that fourth ball. So this positioning is what you should copy. And now if you use a good amount of force, you can see that almost every single time a ball is going to go in as y'all just saw in the top corner. Now, another important trick is to always look for a sequential order. So simply, you need to look for a pattern where if you hit one ball, then it's gonna be easier to hit the next ball. So as an example, if I wanna hit this ball at the bottom right over here, this seems like a really easy shot. But after I hit that shot, it might be more difficult for me to hit another shot. My ball might get stuck somewhere in the bottom right corner, and it's not going to be that easy to hit this ball, this ball, or another striped ball that is on the board. Instead, you need to think of, if you hit a ball, is there going to be another easy shot for me? So instead of aiming for this ball, you should try to aim for this ball over here. Because I realized that if I score this ball, then my cue ball will be somewhere near the bottom left corner. Then after that, I can go ahead and aim for that ball right over there then my ball will be somewhere at the top left corner. So I can go ahead and aim for either this ball over here or this ball over here. And then I can continue to score my striped balls. So you should always look for an order to hit your balls in rather than hitting the ball that appears to be the easiest to score in your situation. So that is about it for this video. If you follow those three tricks, then you will always win a ball pool on Game Pigeon. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll make sure to answer them as soon as I can. But apart from that, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time.